Well, it's been a uh, long wet winter and a very wet spring. And finally, uh, things are dried out enough that I thought I might go uh, activate some parks. So I set up uh, my equipment here uh, that I normally use. Now, I normally don't take this sc screen with me, but uh, that's what I uh, used uh, in the fall uh, when I did a video on uh, various counterpoise systems for verticals. And I ran into a uh, very unexpected situation, uh, which I want to share with you now. There's a uh, link below to the video that I made in the fall about all the uh, possible ways to do a counterpoise uh, for a loaded uh, uh, portable vertical. So I suggest you watch that. And uh, in that video, we found that the more area of ground screen, uh, the better things were. So uh, watch that video and uh, compare to what I'm showing you in this video. And uh, we'll see that uh, optimum is not always optimum. Things change. We're at the same exact spot where uh, that other video uh, data was taken. So this is the uh, SFER curve for my typical setup. And uh, the SWR is uh, much worse than it was uh, last time I did this, which was in the fall. So uh, let's see what uh, happens when we add uh, some more area by adding a piece of Faraday fabric to the uh, counterpoise system. So here I've added uh, a piece of Faraday fabric uh, to the uh, area of the uh, window screen. So both the screen and the fabric are attached to the base in order to get uh, some more area. So here we can see uh, increasing the area by adding the Faraday fabric uh, to the area of the window screen actually made things worse. So here I have the uh, Faraday fabric connected, but I have disconnected the window screen. With the uh, Faraday fabric only, uh, without the uh, window screen, this is the curve. And uh, by the way, the Faraday, the Faraday fabric has an area of 10.75 square feet. And the screen has an area of uh, 28 square feet. I totally uh, removed the window screen from the area to make sure it had no effect. And uh, the curve came out exactly the same. So the window screen, once it's disconnected, is out of the picture. So next I folded the uh, fair Faraday fabric in half, uh, which would give an area of about uh, 5.4 square feet. Okay, here's the curve with the Faraday fabric folded in half. And uh, again, the SWR uh, went even lower with uh, one half the area of uh, ground screen. So I folded the uh, fabric in half again. So now the area is about 2.7 square feet. Okay, with the uh, fabric at one-fourth its original area, uh, the SWR finally increased. So there is some optimal value uh, for the area. And uh, we'll plot uh, all this stuff on a chart next to make it easier to understand. Well, uh, let's review the uh, data that I just showed you being gathered. I started uh, at this point here with just the window screen, and uh, that's what uh, worked in the past. Uh, when it didn't work, when I got such a high SWR, the first thought was to add more screen area. Uh, in the video listed below, I show how the uh, SWR uh, was improved by more and more screen area. And there's many videos on YouTube 
suggesting that uh, w with the window screen and the Faraday fabric, uh, some people will call this uh, stuff magic carpet, that the, the bigger the area, the better. And that's what I found in the past, and that's what I believed. So my first instinct was to add more area. So I added a piece of Faraday fabric, uh, which increased the uh, square footage uh, by about 10 square feet, and the SWR got worse. So uh, this seemed very strange to me, but if adding more made it worse, uh, what would making it less be? So I took the screen away, and with just the Faraday fabric, uh, which was only about 10 square feet, the SWR went down to 1.29, uh, a drastic improvement. So uh, my little brain says, well, what if we uh, fold it in half and have half that area, uh, which I did, and the SWR went down even further. And uh, now this is getting really crazy. So I decided to fold it in half again, and finally, down to 2.7 square feet, the SWR went up. So it appears there is some optimum uh, between these two areas here, uh, and that the soil conditions had changed uh, from the fall when they were very when the soil was very dry until. Uh, this spring, which was very wet. Uh, usually we think about uh, the ground conditions uh, being the same at a, a given location, and we only think about it that if I move over here where uh, I'm on solid rock or something, it's drastically different than here on, on typical uh, farm ground or park ground. So uh, this all blew my mind. And uh, let me show you a graph of this data. And uh, to, to me, graphs always help to make things uh, clearer. Okay, here's the uh, graph of the data that I just showed on the whiteboard. That's uh, this line here. This is our setup. Uh, we had a ground screen, an 80 meter loading coil, and then a 17 foot whip. And this bottom line is the curve from uh, in the fall when the earth was dry. And uh, that curve showed that the more area, by the way, this is the area down here in square feet. And uh, the more the area, the better the SWR, the lower the SWR becomes. Uh, the curve uh, for the data that I just showed you looks like this. So there's some optimum area here, looks like around seven square feet, uh, that gives us the lowest possible SWR. So this is at exactly the same location, the only difference being uh, here in the spring, the ground was really soggy and saturated uh, from a lot of rain. And in the uh, fall, it was uh, very dry from lack of rain. Okay, I encourage you to uh, watch that video linked below, uh, which is all about the different ways of making a counterpoise system. Uh, in that video, uh, I mentioned the one thing that always works is elevated tuned radials. That means radials that are quarter wavelength long and that uh, are somewhat above the ground. So, if you find uh, Conditions have changed. Don't be afraid to uh, make your magic carpet smaller in area uh, if going larger doesn't work. Uh, but I encourage you uh, to watch my next video, which is going to be about uh, radials. And uh, like I say, they always work on wet or dry ground. So you can kind of get independent of ground uh, by using uh, radials. So if you got anything out of this video, uh, please subscribe and uh, give me a thumbs up. And uh, I hope you'll uh, look for that next video on uh, the radials.